All right, so I can't show you too much and what's going on, but on the opposite side of this camera, right over there, I have just purchased. Oh man, look at that beautiful, beautiful morning. Look at that. It's one of those days where you wake up, you're a little cranky, but not too cranky, you know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna be doing is eating something very, very quickly, and then we're off to the races. So, going to have a little bit of the cassava flour tortillas. I love, love, love these. Suck it. Because of these macros. Look at these macros. So there's three grams of fat in every serving. Three grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. Very, very good. And it's only 130 calories total, and that's two tortillas. It's not one tortilla, it's two. And I'm gonna be eating that with some good old veal. Probably, this is like two and a half ounces to maybe even three ounces. So keeping my protein low, keeping my carbs a little bit higher before my workout, and then I have spinach. I'm gonna put all this spinach on both of those tortillas. So, yeah, it's time to eat. All right, so let's see how, how many ounces is, or grams this actually is. Okay. 34 grams. I don't know if you can even see that. Can you even see that? It's pretty close, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard for you to see, so let me turn it real quick. There we go. Here we go. Can't see shit. All right, it's all good. I'm just gonna show you from this angle. So in total, you're about 88 grams. That's 3.1 ounces. So I was pretty, pretty on point. And then all we're gonna do is add a little bit of spinach. Boom. I don't really count those. Although it's like, it's like 0.4 of an ounce. And then I'll add a little bit of salt on there. A little bit of salt on here, half of it falls off, cool. And then a little bit, a little bit of basil. Top it off, boom. Boom. And then, last step, let's try it. Go. That's on point. Mm. I got my creatine HCL in. I think I'm starting to taste something new. I really like this. It's called Morpho Calm. It's just stress and hormone support. So, it has like ashwagandha in it, alphionine. Calcium to glucurate, kana, I don't know, kana is calcium, a few other things. Definitely try these out. Anyways, all right, let's go get this workout in. Buckle up. It's our last day of deload, but we're hitting a lot, a lot of reps. Lower weight, let's go.
so full workout is done. Like I said, this is a deload, so it's a lot of high intensity stuff. I lower the volume in many different areas. Some areas, the things I need to work on pretty much the most, um, I kept it a little higher. So for those overhead press, I went from 60 for 10, or sorry, 60, uh, 60 for 10, 55 for 10, and 50 for 10. So I dropped down each one uh, to make sure I wasn't destroying myself and like hurting myself or anything like that. I wanna really have my nervous system catch up right now with how much I've been doing work-wise as well, because remember your emotions also has a lot to do with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump on to the Stairmaster, have another cardio session, and then after we're gonna have Mac, the Mac, I like mac and cheese, to be honest. I fucking love mac and cheese. But no, we're gonna be hitting max reps on push-ups. I kinda wanna do a different variation. So maybe clap push-ups as many as we can. But uh, yeah, let's see how I do. Let's roll. Damn, uh, every time. Brutal, always the last minute. I go up to 19 and 20. All right, I'm gonna relax for a second. And we're gonna hit max push-ups. Let's roll. So, during the stair stepper, really anything that's, see Taylor used the word monotonous, 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 sorry. It's all about, like during those, those digging points. So the end isn't very hard for me. Like the end, I know it's coming, just keep going, right? I don't even really need to push myself to another level at all or anything like that. It's just the same level I'm always at. The beginning, easy work, first minute. Minutes two through five, those three minute periods, where it's like, fuck, I'm tired, I'm kind of tired. I'm not at like a steady state. I'm not like kind of relaxed, but also working hard. It's like, no, I have another five more minutes of this, or I have another four more minutes, I have another three more minutes. And so those are the times in the middle of it is when taking a deep breath is so important and just calming down that heart rate, calming down your mind knowing that, hey, once I'm done with this, I'm done. And in a minute from now, it's gonna be a minute shorter. In a minute, two minutes from now, it'll be two minutes shorter. Three minutes from now, I only have a minute left. So these are the type of things that I tell myself, trust me, when I'm going, I'm like, fuck, all right, let's stop. Uh, can we stop? Mm, we should probably stop, but I never do. I keep going, so um, yeah, let's get this push-up contest in. Let's see how many push-ups you can do. We're gonna do clap push-ups, so good luck. If you're someone that is a beginner, go ahead and do regular push-ups. If you're a little bit more advanced a beginner, but you can't do too many clap push-ups, do them on your knees. Let's see how many you can get. Let's see how many I can get. Let's mother go. Boom. All right. I need to get my favorite song. So Taylor thinks I have 20. 20? This ground smells like ass. I'm not gonna lie. That's what it is. I like ass. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> hang on, everyone. All right, trying to get my good song, man. I'm trying to get like Christian Guzman music, man. Yeah, Christian. I'm gonna call him Chris. Christy. Christy. Hey, Christy. Some brother. Till he can. Brother. <laughs> Christy, brother. All right. Have you ever heard of Every Every? It's a good song. You guys should definitely check it out. By Tilly. Tilly. Tilly ask. Tilly cast. Remix right here. Hey. That's it right there. It's a really good song. Let's go back. Always pushing it.
35. Oh, really? I freaking want a 40, man. Damn it. I want a 40. Sons of bitches. 35. You know my workout's fine. Fresh. I care 45. Maybe 50. Fresh. Let's see what you got, motherfucker. <laughs> Hold on, let me get my Christian music back on. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm good. I can finish the motivation video. Um, <laughs> well, I really like that guy. He's freaking awesome. Um, so, that's a workout. Did everything. Um, this girl, my lady friend, is coming into town in like two hours. Get some work done. You'll be able to meet her. Um, I got my new golden doodle. His name's Jude. Super excited for him to be in my life now. Um, yeah, man, I'm pretty hyped. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Let's get the rest of this workout. <laughs> There's no more workout. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the day and that's a workout. Oh. Chase today, so Chase McNary. Um, we have some business ventures that we're a part of. I also have a big meeting, I have all my meetings, and then I'm going to the mountains. I'm going to the mountains this weekend, so it's gonna be like my my weekend off, my vacation. Um, yeah, let's go! Let's go! I was so excited. <laughs> so excited to show you what was coming in the mail. And then it was nothing special. Basically what happened, I have four cameras, three A7Rs, well, yeah, and uh, A7R3s, and then I have actually two, two, three, I can't remember. A7R3s, and then I also have a Lumix GH5S. And so what happened, was all of the audio jacks got busted because Sony, like I highly suggest if you are someone that uses cameras, I'm not the biggest on the A7R3s because of the audio problem. The video and everything else, like the autofocus, amazing. But I kind of want to switch to Canon because of that. So I have to keep on sending back all my cameras for repair. I have the podcast, you guys know that, every Tuesday and Friday. And it's just like, it's time and time again, I gotta send it back, send it back, send it back, send it back. Anyways, let's see. I kid you not. I just ate, and I didn't show you any of it. Oh! All right. Eight ounces of bison, one and a half cups of white rice, and five ounces of asparagus. I freaking love, like, like I said, I'm not like, I, like, I, I'm, I'm not a sponsored athlete for Icon Meals, but this is what I'll say. I eat this stuff like every day. It makes my macros like so much easier to count, my calories, everything. You already know what I'm looking like. If you haven't checked them out yet, go check out. <laughs> go check them out. Also, this is, the, uh, this is what I had on the bison. So I had some cayenne, I love cayenne pepper. I had Himalayan pink salt, and then I also had some basil, it's a basil. 
put those three together, they're really delicious. You can also add black pepper, it's really, really good. A couple other seasonings that I really like to use is paprika. So for any fish, put some paprika on that motherfucker. And then you also put a little bit of salt. Um, sodium is really, really important. You guys are, are gotta understand that. My sodium intake is about like 1,500 milligrams a day. Um, 1,500 to 1,800. And I keep it around that range uh, for a number of reasons, but it really helps with, fuck, every, like, go research sodium and what it does for your body, especially during prep, like the way you look. It's, it's really, really cool. Now you don't want too much, obviously, or too little. That'll definitely affect your body in a negative way, your hormones and everything, but um, yeah, brother. That's it, brother. See you later, brother. Okay, bye. All right, so I can't show you too much and what's going on, but on the opposite side of this camera, right over there, I have just purchased all of the creatine HCL that this world has to offer. I'm super excited. Create you nutrition's coming to town, brother. Brother, I'm so excited. Like, you guys gotta understand. I take this stuff. I started taking it uh, probably a month and a half ago, and I was just like, oh, I freaking love this stuff. It challenges me when I drink it. Like, it's super, super strong. When you drink it for your first time, you're gonna see. You're gonna be like, damn, brother, that's a strong drink, bro. Yeah, I'm a little weird. Sorry. Uh, yeah, man, I'm getting excited. All right, let's have a good rest of the day. Woo! What are you telling me, dude? What do you, what do you want to hear? Tell, tell, tell the camera what you just said to me. <laughs> tell me, dude. Uh... Stupid calorie tracking bodybuilder. <laughs> Stupid. Tell me. You're Come shredded. On, you're shredded, bro. What'd you say? Come on, say it. I said, I said you're shredded. He said my photo today that I posted on Insta, Instaham is a cheat code. My, my mirror that I use is a fucking cheat code. <clears throat> so I just wanna shout out everybody out there using cheat code mirrors. You're the best, brother. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> What'd you say? He, he's competing August 4th, so we'll be the judge. I'm actually gonna step on stage just to, just to, just to put a run for his money in right there. Should I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I gotta film you. Oh shit. His business. He's pretty he's badass. Um guys, so yeah, talking about business. Um I just wanted to give a quick example. Really quick, you, you can watch it in a second. Uh <laughs> I just wanted to give a quick example. So um I wrote a caption for one of the influencers that I work with. You know, I, I like I mentioned to you to everyone, I own multiple businesses. And I keep, it, I keep it kind of on the DL because I don't really like to share too much about everything that I'm doing. Um, I, think, I think some things are, are best kept quiet for a long time until other people feel comfortable about the release or, or knowing that I, I helped them build it. So this is a caption that I wrote. Life is short and sometimes when something's scary and everyone is telling you not to do it because it's too risky, you just gotta trust your gut and go. Take this statement lightly. The greatest lesson I've learned in the last three years is that you are the only person in control. And when you give someone else a steering wheel, you end up stressed, lacking motivation, motivation, or just downright depressed. So cheers to a beautiful Thursday and an even stronger step towards a fulfilling life. I know the step I took in this photo was in the right direction and I can't wait to see what's ahead of me. Hashtag future. And so this is just one of the like examples for like copywriting things that I do. And I wrote this caption for someone and basically what they do is they, they take it and they're like, wow, this is spot on. He was actually just like, yo, solid, it's ironic too um, because of a conversation that we had uh, a couple of days ago. And yeah, it's, it's just like, if you know how to write and you know how to express yourself, there's not, not much that other people aren't experiencing that's going on in your life. So for me, if I'm, having, if I'm struggling during the day and I woke up late, you know how many people woke up late that day? Or you know how many people woke up too early that day or didn't get enough sleep or whatever it is? You can relate to them. And so all you have to do is tap into your own mind and, and express how you feel. And I guarantee you other people will, will express the same and relate to you. So that's just that idea that you can take into your own life, into your own social media, into your, to anything, relationships, and really knock it out of the park. Now, uh, let's eat. Oop, let's go. I say this in the taste. Um, your girls might go for it, so one idea was to see if, get a jar from them, if they could live with that taste, um, it might be a lot easier. So for example, you have like a nice 
20 ounce bottle with a lot of powder. His amount of powder was so little, last minute emergency status, I had to put it in smaller bottles because it looked ridiculous. <laughs> um, so it's like... <laughs> That's horrible for a consumer. Like a small, like barely any fucking powder in there. It's just like, yo, where's my, where's the other serving? <laughs> How much cake do you eat in a day? No, stop. Hey, seriously, do you like my cats? Yeah, I do. Do you really? I make sure to have a cupcake every day, at yeah. least. Or a you should balance it out, man. Do you eat uh, Snickers or cupcakes, brother? I mean, right now, neither, but soon, both. Go both? Okay, what's your favorite cupcake? Specifically, okay, the vegan chocolate chip cookies from. <laughs> okay, this, okay, time out, time out. This is a very simple question. Hey, what type of cupcake do you like? Well, is it a fluffy cupcake? Is it a double stuffed cupcake? What, which one do you like best? It's not that simple. T How I eat all of my cupcakes is I turn them into sandwiches. So wait, I'm wait, wait. What do you do? What do you do? I turn cupcakes into sandwiches. Wow, that's fabulous. I'm really embarrassed. You know what I do? You know what I do? I take my cupcakes and I put money in the middle of it. Hundred dollar bills and checks that are a thousand dollars and just fucking eat it. Isn't that a way to propose like that was a theme? People would put like rings and cakes and stuff and then people would eat them. And then they would swallow it and then, then yeah. like the proposal would be me sticking my arm down your throat to grab it again because you accidentally ate it, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's <laughs> So it was brought to my attention that uh you can put this on the I, that I have I have one nipple that like look at the hair look at, like this is this is mad funny this is so funny look how long this one is though like it's not even a joke it's a I'm a what that's so weird grab it ew that's so weird <laughs> that's some next level shit right there. I can't right now like you you're like <laughs> I'm a mutant. <laughs> it's because I'm so muscular and, and my hairy nipples are next level. We have we have squat the squad out here so, cooking up some lamb chicken, brother Evan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> like honestly, what the what are you doing? Needing this, needing this. It needs to be needed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, you wanna come meet Howard? Come here. Do you know Howard? I have a cat. No, I don't believe you. I've met your cat. That's Howard, right there. They're super cute. Do you, no, 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 no. That's Howard. I didn't talk about them. That's Howard. I think that he's the cutest. It's, it's, it's a girl. It's trans Howard is a girl. Trans transgender. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you respected my, uh, my space here. <laughs> Please respect my space. <laughs> All right, so we got, I'm gonna have, to finish off my macros, I'm gonna have one slice of Dave is killer bread. I generally don't eat gluten, but I am today. It is what it is. Um, this is Marissa's. And then I like this popcorn because of the amount, like the macros in, uh, in a serving. So it's three cups of this. It's just 110 calories. So I can have a good amount of this and I'm gonna have vegetables. So you always have to remind yourself when you're when you're eating or dieting or whatever it is, losing fat, whatever you want to call it, um, all of the oh, there's not cheat codes, but but there's there's ways of eating more, feeling like you're eating more, but actually you're eating the same amount of calories. It's pretty much that. Can we take a second and just just look at? <laughs> I'm, sorry, mate. I'm a lady killer. <laughs> you think that's funny? You think that's funny? Yeah, I do. You don't think I'm a lady killer? No, I understand. She knows. Woo! <laughs> 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 Alright. 
Why would you do that? Just let it get fouled or something. She's a free throw. They don't have a timeout. Congratulations, Toronto. You deserve this one. I'm super excited for you. I'm super happy for you. I'm not from Toronto, but I feel like I am right now. I'm a Fairweather fan. You best believe it. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bodyweight to Bodybuilding. Stepping on stage October 5th at the Colorado Muscle Classic. Muscle Quest Classic? I can't remember. <laughs> Muscle Quest Classic. Super excited for that. Um, getting leaner by day. As you can see, you guys saw everything. Boom. I'm feeling, I'm feeling just a lot leaner. I, I feel, I don't know all the terms like flat and stuffy and fluffy and cuffy. Um, all I know, all I know is that I'm feeling better each and every single day on uh, about 2,600 calories every single day. So uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode. Super excited to come back. Every week we're coming back with a banger. Uh, I definitely want to show Taylor a little bit more. He doesn't like being on camera. Taylor. There he is. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Remember the podcast every Tuesday and Friday. You can check it out across all audio platforms and also here on YouTube generally every Tuesday. Um, it's going to be slowing down now. Um, and, yeah, see you next time. Peace.